I've just bought myself something really fancy for my house. It's a padlock. Now, security is important in the Viking age. So I've got this beautiful padlock that's going to go on my front door. And only I have got the key. Now, this padlock is quite pretty. As you can see, it's got these lovely swirly patterns. It would have taken a really, really long time to make as well, which is why it cost me so much money. But I think it's worth it. But you said that this is the key? Yeah, absolutely. I'll show you how it works. So, the key goes into the padlock at an angle like this. I then push it and take off the top bit of the padlock. And we can see that it's a really clever spring mechanism. I couldn't make this myself, but there's lots of really talented blacksmiths down on Coppergate who make all sorts of incredible metal objects that are really useful for everyday life in the Viking Age. Now the one we found at Coppergate wasn't quite as full as this. The shackle at the top here was missing and we didn't find the original key. But from the body alone, x-raying it, we could learn how the Vikings made their locks. We use the evidence that we have and have to think about things scientifically to try and understand how the Viking world worked. What I can tell you just by seeing this is you must have had a fair bit of money to be able to afford something like this. It's fair showy. Absolutely right.